This episode of the Rogue Deck Builder is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, the number one source for games and gaming accessories, and by GatheringMagic.com, the number one source for Magic the Gathering news and articles. Hi there, it's Kevin with Gathering Magic and RogueDeckBuilder.com, here with another matchup of the Devotion to Rakdos. Yes, we'd like to play first. And very, very awesome hand. This is this this hand's great. Fanatic Amulus, Unreal Cerebrus, Rakdos, Shred Freak. Very aggressive, aggressive hand. No, we'd not like to mulligan this. I can go ahead and, and start off with Arakdos' Guildgate. And pass the turn back to him. Can't wait till these are Scrylands. Just a few more months, and we'll have our wish. Um, and then this this will make this deck a lot more viable, just with an extra Scryland. I'll still continue to use Arakdos, Guildgate. It's probably go down to a two of them. And then we'll have four of the Scrylands. Which will be ideal. So I think at this this point, I think the the zealots a better thing to put out. A watery grave could be in a number of decks. Could be mono black splash blue. They splash it for like cy cy cyclonic rift, or far and away, or this could be mono blue splash black. They do that for doom blades, or this could just be esper control. And if it's esper control, I think we have a great matchup. This I think we're a little bit better than the the boros devotion because we are a lot more aggressive. We have another Rakdos Shred Freaks and, and access to Spike Jester. So I do have to worry about a... Last Breath here. But, or Nazorius Charm. But either one of those, he still is going to take two damage. I prefer Nazorius Charm, as it gives me back a Haster. So I'm thinking one of those is going to come here. It looks like, and maybe, okay, an ultimate price. That's actually better than either one of those scenarios because I eventually will get that back with the Underworld Cerebrus if I can stick it. So Burning Tramissary would be great here. Let's see if he just Detention Spheres on the Rakdos Shred Freak. We have Sky... Oh, okay. So this is going to be... Uh, I don't know if this is Grand Prix, the either the first place deck or the second place deck. I can't remember which one took first or second. But this is going to be that deck. It, it's, it's like a human's deck. So it's Zathard Necromancer. I'm definitely okay with this. Uh, it, it is an aggressive deck, but wow, oh wow, can the mana base be really, really terrible if he doesn't get what he needs. Uh, let's let's go ahead and we'll probably end up throwing a Fanatic Amogus out here. Could go for another Ash Zealot. Yeah, I think I will actually Ash Zealot here. As it's going to put him down to 14. And then Fanatic Amogus is huge here. Or even Underworld Cerebrus, then into Fanatic Amogus the following turn. And we can... Oh, he's got to shock himself. So anything Zathard Necromancer is going to come out. No. It's going to be Whip of Erebos. That's actually pretty good. But it only... It actually still nets him down to life. And there's double Fanatic Amogus. Can we actually generate four? Five, six is all we can generate. So I think that it's going to be Underworld Cerebrus. Whip of Erebus. This is an interesting deck, for sure. He's down to an 11. Again, I don't know. Does this run Detention Spheres? Either way, the, the Underworld Cerebrus is going to be hard for him to deal with. And the Whip is just providing lifelink at the moment. I mean, he could activate the Mutavault. No, he could not. I mean, I've got a blocker for that. The Underworld Cerebrus can be very hard for him to block. He shocks himself again. So I'm thinking Detention Sphere. Opposite off. That's actually very good. But I think he's still dead. He goes up to 14, but I think he, he's he got to... Is he going to exile Opposite off is the thing? He decides not to. Do I have enough to kill him? It's a Frostburn Weird. I think that'll actually do it. So if I Frostburn Weird here... Attacking with the Underworld Cerebrus. Take him down to an 8. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Exactly 8. So we actually we actually win this due to this awesome Underworld Cerebrus here that he cannot block. Which can then... And we almost have enough to do two of these. So this is exactly... Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that is a wrap. But this is a pretty good deck, man. How does this deck not get just mana screwed after man? Talk about greed. Jeez, just makes me want to put in a Burning Earth and say, have fun with this. I mean, I guess he does have plenty of ways to gain lifelink, but I really can't think of a better draw than what he got. I mean, he got his his double 
his double black, which he needed, his double white, which he needed, and the blue. So just, oh, I, I, I cannot fathom playing a deck, a uh, three-color deck plus heavy mute vaults with all these double colors. Anyway, I will quit rambling here. The Dreadboard's decent. I think Spike Jesters, this isn't a, actually an aggressive deck like I thought. Magma Jets are going to go in definitely for the uh, Leaf Sky Knight. And Amazing Mortars will stay in. I'm not sure how many Dread Boars I want to run. He's he's going the opposite out combo. I'm going to bring Chandra's Pyromasters in. I don't know if that's the greatest. Reef of the Bones I don't think I need to bring in. Frostburn Weirds just seem very, very weird in this matchup. Does Perforos want to come in? I say over Hammer Perforos maybe. No, I like Hammer Perforos in this matchup. I think that... I think this is a pretty good... Pretty good lineup. I don't know if I need Reef of the Bones. I, if this is what I think it is, it's still a pretty aggressive deck. Again, this was the GP, either first or second deck, I can't remember which one. One of the, the, the Japan GPs recently, where there were Zach, Zathar Necromancers in a ton of the lists that people were playing. And so this has got the whip, Obsidot. But again, I, I might if I lose this matchup, I'll go I'll put in the Spike Jesters, and even like Dreadboards, because I think that his deck seems to me to be a little bit awkward with the mana base and cards like spike jester can just punish 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 those sorts of decks i mean i, I actually might want spike jester over like ash silt make his doom blades almost useless maybe maybe over boros reckoner here well boros reckoner is just just awesome in this deck i'm not sure do i care about museum mortars is the thing maybe like spike jester just really seems aggressive aggressive versus his deck But on the play, I'm not sure if it's the right call. So we'll see. We'll see if my, my decisions actually end up being the right ones. Um, again, this is this is a terrible hand. I think I have to mulligan it. I mean, it's... Well, maybe his Raxus Return would be the... I mean, I want to keep this hand. And I could definitely see myself doing that. But Double Raxus Return is a mulligan, I believe. This is slightly better hand. I'll keep it and pray for a land. I mean, this is actually an awesome hand. An awesome hand if I draw into one more land. It's a terrible hand if I... Oh, there we go. This just became a really, really good uh, hand. So he's got, all his, he's got all his lands again. Ugh. Imposing Sovereign is very good versus my deck. Which I'll just go for an Ash Zealot here. Saves him some life. That was a perfect card for him. But it still did cost him two, and he's burned himself like crazy. Jeez, uh, Angry Phoenix says hi. And he's going to detain that down, probably tack in for two with the Sovereign. That is definitely okay. But at this point, I can just drop the Nike, those Shrine of Nyx. And this way we can drop the we can do the Burning Tramissary combo. And we will go for Fanatic Amogus. Put him down to an 11. And really put him on the ropes. He's, he's still a couple cards away from the Opsidot. He needs a Zath of Necromancer, but if he wants to turn this into a stall game, then I just wait out a Rakdos' Return or another another Fnatic Mogus on top of this. I mean, next, next turn, I'm almost able to play both. Not quite. Actually, I think, what was he? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think I'm okay. So he's going he's gonna to try to out-damage me here. I don't know if he can do that. Uh, this is a great draw. He'll get a 2-2 out of it. What do I want to kill as a thing? I mean, I, I could uh, end up just kill his Imposing Sovereign and attack in with everything. He blocks the Fanatic Mogus, but then the following turn he just plain gets eaten. Well, if I if I leave that cell back, I, I can block everything. So how much? I can generate 6 mana, 7 mana, and I could go Rakdos Shred Freak Fanatic Mogus. It's going to be Rakdos Shred Freak plus a Chandra. So... Yeah, we'll definitely generate the mana here. Five, six. Because Shred Freak, Shred Freak, let's see. Shred Freak, Fanatic, Amogus, he blocks, blocks. That's two. Two damage plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I, I can get him down to a ten if that's the, that's the route. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go Rakdos Shred Freak, which unfortunately comes to play tapped. Uh, Chandra's Pyromaster. 
And I will do a damage to him and his, impo his imposing sovereign. Which he did, does get a 2-2, two -two, but it, it enters the battlefield tapped. And I think I will go for it here. He'll kill my Fanatic Amogus. He has to at this point. And he'll have he'll have enough to kill my, my Chanter Pyromaster, but Fanatic number 2... I mean, I, he's got to leave those zombies for blockers. Right? Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of options here. With the Pyro Masters. Rakdos' return wins the game here. I mean, Fanatic and Mogus, he'd have to kill... He'd have to kill three permanents here for Fnatic. Well, no, just two permanents here for Fnatic Mogus not to. Yeah, and Soldier Pantheon's not going to do it. So that's the power of Zathur Necromancer. Look how much work it just did. And there's another Zathur Necromancer. See if he actually goes for the Chandra. At this point, you'd think he's got to. But it doesn't matter. He's still dead. So, yep, he goes for Chandra. And we got the second Fanatic Mogus in our hand. There's a Rakdos Return. How do we want to kill him? Which way is the most spicy? Because this adds... Let's just see how much mana this adds. This adds six. If I... Nope, I can only get him down to a... With with Rakdos Return, I can only do five damage. So, we'll see Fanatic Mogus and call ourselves... Call it good. Fanatic Mogus number two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is game again. But I'm really liking this deck. But, man, he had to burn himself like crazy. It's just... Let's look at that that board set up there. You know, with all these comes into play tap lands, it really slows his deck down. And yeah, he had to water God the Shrine and Water Grave, he had to shock himself. And that was the difference between the game. So I don't know if is Lev Sky Knight, what else? I think they do run detention spheres in there. Uh, I'll have to check the deck list for that 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 um Japan players deck to see exactly what the blue's in there for. But it basically just tries to get as much value out of, out of Zathar Necromancer, which is a very powerful card of using all humans. He didn't get to see an explosive start with the Solar Pantheon, but again, I really can't think of much better start than the imposing Sovereign against the amount of Hasters I had. And I mean, the Rakdos Return, Dread, oh, there's a Dread War 2 that could have taken out a blocker. Uh, that that also might have been able to do it. But Rakdos Return alone would have would have done 5 damage there. And then he would have had to block with everything. But it got two more zombies back, though. So, I don't know. It's a pretty cool deck. Uh, I wonder if it will it will do as well in, in subsequent tournaments. And it it probably will get better with the any more humans that we get in Born of the Gods. Which does seem like it's going to be a very, hopefully, heroic set. Because these are colors that I love to see in heroic. Uh, black... If we can go black, white, blue heroics, Agent of Fates is, is such a cool card. Anyway, this has been Kevin with Gathering Magic and RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.